Hi everyone, welcome or welcome back to my channel. If you are new to makeup and have no idea what to do, where to start, anything like that, let me help you. So, first things first, making sure that you have the right products for you. Going into any beauty store, getting color tested or color matched, making sure you have the right color for you, making sure it's not too yellow, too orange, too pink. The professionals can definitely help you with that. But today, I actually have the, the Elf Halo Glow Foundation Liquid Filter Glow Booster for Radiant Skin. So if you wanna wear this by itself, it is $14 in stores. So if you just wanted to wear this itself, you could do that for like a summer natural look. So you just put on, put it on all over your face. So you can either use a brush or a sponge and today I'm gonna use my Dirty Beauty Blender that I used quite a bit today. And I'm just going to tap it in, make sure it's wet. See how it's just like a radiant kind of look. And then with the foundation or kind of overall what you're doing on your face, you wanna avoid your eye area because your eye area is where you naturally crease, like when you're looking in different directions or kind of anything. So you wanna avoid putting a lot of product in those areas. Also with any kind of foundation or anything that you're putting on your face, bring it down your neck. Don't be afraid to bring it down if you're wearing like spaghetti straps, like down like to your clavicle, like behind your ears, making sure your ears match because in pictures or kind of wherever you're going, you wanna make sure you have that seamless blend and obviously you're wearing makeup, but we wanna keep it a secret. Make sure there's no uh, obvious, you know, difference from your face to your body. Also, if you wanna know how I did my brows, head over to my TikTok where it is posted. I used the e.l.f. brow lift and kind of showed you how I did that for the first time. So that was an interesting experience in itself. But if you wanna know how to do that clean girl aesthetic or that look, go ahead and head over to my TikTok at Rilo underscore LaFay and see how I did it. So just finishing up my face. Very radiant, it's very thin sheen. As you can tell, again, this product is $14 at Ulta, that's where I got mine. And then I'm going to take the tiniest bit of a concealer. I like to use the Tarte Shape Tape in the shade 22N. I'm at neutral tone, so that's the one that I that is good for me, or another one that I like to use is the, where you can just get this also at Ulta or a CVS, Walgreens kind of anything, is the NYX Born to Glow. And this is in the shade 02 Alabaster. So I'm very light. So we're actually gonna use this one. So I'm just gonna push up the product Making sure, so depending on what you want, I like to go for a brighter under eye, so I get something a little bit lighter than my skin tone, and just put your concealer where your high points are or where you want to bring light onto your face. And then you're just going to focus your beauty blender or a sponge directly in those areas not really bringing it down much because a little goes a long way with concealer. See, I'm just bringing it down, making sure my under eyes are bright, covering those dark circles from working my butt off. Or not sleeping, either one, because TikTok rules my life and I watch TikToks all night. So, just taking it, blending it out making sure you're really getting under your eyes and blending it into your foundation or whatever base you used for that seamless look. And then same thing on the nose, I like to press my beauty blender together and just concentrate it directly on the bridge of my nose because my nose is my high point. And then right here in the T-zone, 
just focusing right there. I'm blending it out into the halo glow and along with my chin. Perfect. Awesome. Now you can do one of two things. So you can use your cream products right now for your blush, your bronzer, kind of anything that you're wanting to do that's cream. Um, I like the Rare Beauty blushes or the e.l.f. putty blushes, but for right now, we're just going to set the face. I like a matte look, so I'm going to take a loose setting powder and I'm going to, oh, this is Maybelline New York Lasting Fix Banana Powder that I'm going to put all over my face. I have my makeup triangle plushy, I forget what they're called. I'm just going to open it very gently because this loose powder gets everywhere, let me tell you. I'm just going to take a little bit right on the end and I naturally crease under my eyes so making sure that concealer didn't kind of bunch up. I'll just smooth it out either with my finger or my beauty blender and then I'll go in with my powder and I'll just set it. Really press it in, making sure that you're getting in between your creases. Creasing happens with makeup. No need to think that you have to be a flawless canvas. Makeup is makeup and it will settle where your lines naturally are on your face. So taking it and then that same powder right under your eyes. Perfect, now that our under eyes are all set, I'm going to take a little bit more on my little powder puff. I'm just going to set the rest of my face. I like to focus around my nose, right here and my T-zone area. So here, right here and up here. This is where I personally get the oiliest, so I just want to make sure I put on a really thick powder or baking. Um, this is where you just have excess powder in areas that tend to get more oily, so there's more product to soak up before you see it on the skin or through your makeup. So I'll just add it there. And then the rest of it, I just look like I did cocaine, but that's fine. And then I'm going to press the rest of it into my face. And don't forget your neck because we brought it all the way down. Making sure that everything is set and will last all day. So after you have everything set, I'm just going, I'm just making sure everything is good, everything is great. I take a fluffy brush and just powder the excess off of my face and this is our base so far so now I'm going to go in you can go in with a beauty blender again or with a blush or with a brush and I'm going to go in with this angled brush kind of a fluffy brush and I'm going to take my wet n wild pressed powder blush in the shade mellow wine and I'm just going to and make sure when you're picking up product you know if you're just picking up a little bit test it out first because a lot of the products like blush are very pigmented and you don't want too much or kind of looking crazy I'm just gonna do like a light dusting of this blush on my face and you want to stay around where the apples of your cheeks are I bring it all the way up to my temple and my hairline and just making sure it fluffs out real nice. And I'm gonna do the same thing on the other side, just tapping gently. Focus on the cheeks of your, the apples of your cheeks and bringing it back. And if you don't know where the best place to do it, smile and wherever your cheeks naturally lay, right on top just blend it out amazing 
Now if this is the the kind of look that you're going for, just something more summery, you look sun-kissed, you can take a little bit of blush right on the end of your brush and just dab on your nose very lightly, very gently. This gives the illusion of like sun-kissed or kind of sunburnt, just over the nose a little bit. Now you can always stop here if you're happy with your base, but I like to go in with a little bit of contour or bronzer. I got this contour and highlight palette at five below and just for something natural I go in with this shade here. This is the shade that best matches me and it's very pigmented so just making sure you're going in the cheek, the hollows of your cheeks or your jawline like where your jaw naturally sits so if you open your mouth you can feel your jaw. You're just going to take it right here and blend it all the way up to your ear, just very lightly. And you can, don't be afraid of mixing it with your blush to, just to give that seamless look. Grab some more, we're going to go on the other side. Same thing in the hollow of your cheek. So we put this contour or um, bronzer in these places because these are the lows of your cheeks. So this is where you want to accentuate your shadows of your face and really define them. So I just dusted it over my nose on the sides because we had put the concealer right in the middle. That's where our high points are. So if we just take the contour or the bronzer on the edges of our nose, it just has that little skinny effect for it. Then I'll take my bronzer or contour right under my chin and my jaw to really define a little more. And then last place I put it, a little bit on the forehead. Bring them all the way down to your temple and then bring it back a little bit so it has the illusion of like coming up. That's, if that makes sense, just like a brow lift with makeup so making sure that it is blended and seamless we don't want to make it too muddy don't be afraid of blending because you can always put more but it's harder to take off so if you put if you go in with the deepest shade and you put way too much it's always harder to take it off start again with your whole base than it is to slowly build up which is best case when you're learning or just wanting to kind of get a good feel for what kind of makeup you like or kind of anything like that. So, there we are. That is my full base. That is how I personally like to do my base. Of course, once you experiment and kind of get more into what you're wanting and everything that you like on your face, you can venture out, kind of figure out your own style but this is how I do my standard base whenever I'm just going to go out, go to work, kind of do any kind of eye look, like a simple eye look, this is what I like to do. Now going into the eyes. I'm going to do something super, super simple, something that can be done with almost any palette. So I have these two palettes from ColourPop. I have the That's Taupe. It is a very taupe mauve kind of palette with some matte colors and some highlight colors and then I have this Grand de I don't know how to say it so don't judge me palette where it's more browns and neutrals and a little bit of like these brighter colors if you want to get a little bit more adventurous so I'm going to use this one today just for like an everyday look and something that can be done with almost any palette so I have hooded eyes and I crease a lot just like right where my um, eye kind of folds so what I like to do is go in with an eye primer an eyeshadow primer the one I love to use is the morphe eye base eyelid primer and I'll just take a very very tiny amount so I will put it right on my finger I don't know if you can see that. Very, very tiny amount. Maybe a little bit more. That much. Not a whole lot. And I'll take it. I'm just putting the lid back on. 
So I'll take it and I'll rub it between my two fingers, warm it up a little bit, and then I will dab it on just with my fingers and rub it over my entire eyelid or where I plan to put eyeshadow. So I'm going to bring it all the way up to my brows, all the way up, just making sure it's all in there. And then same thing with the other eye. Bring it all the way up to your brow. Plan on putting eyeshadow. I do a primer to make sure it all sticks and kind of flows together evenly and will last a long while on my eyelids. Now, you can either go in just with your eyeshadow and just go on top of your eyelids and kind of just start your eye look from there. Or what I like to do is put that same concealer that we used under our eyes, just another light layer on our eyelids, just to have a whole base. This is just something to have just one cohesive canvas. So with that concealer on my eyelids, I you can take your beauty blender or a smaller beauty blender, like this one, and just tap it in. Don't be afraid of making funny faces to make sure you're getting it all over your eyelid. Remember, this is the base of a canvas. This is something that we just want to cover all of it. And then same on the other side. Bringing it all the way up to your eyebrow. Making sure to really get into your inner corner so it's not creasing and now just like with our base we're going to set our eyelid with powder so making sure there's no clumps of concealer anywhere just having a good cohesive base we're going to take our eyeshadow palette and we're going to take the lightest shade a fluffy brush. So we're going to go in and we're just going to set all of that concealer just very lightly with this lightest shade. Same thing on the other eye. Awesome! Now, this is where you can pop on a lash and then you're good to go. Or if you want something to really get into eyeshadow or just wanting a little bit more flair for your everyday look, you can take that same palette, go in with a medium shade, and we're going to put it in the middle of our eyelid, starting right where our pupil, going straight up. So right in the middle of your eyelid, just pack it on, that middle shade, and just you can do sweeping motions and make sure when you're doing sweeping motions and you want to bring your eyeshadow outwards, you're going up with the direction of your lower lash line. So with your lower lash line, you have a kind of a guide. So where this, the very outer corner of your eyelid is pointing is where you want to follow with your the shape of your eyeshadow. So you're going to go up kind of towards your temple. and bring it upwards and that's what you're going to do with all colors. So go in with a circular or sweeping motion with this middle color in the middle of your eyelid until it looks blended out with that first shade that we put all over the lid. And now I'm going to do it again with that middle shade on the other eye. If you grab too much product and you don't want to pack it on just Tap your brush and it'll get rid of the excess eyeshadow that you grab too much of. And then same thing, sweeping or circular motions, just following that guide of your eye. And 
this back and forth, making sure not to bring this shade all the way into your inner corner. We want that inner corner to stay bright because if you bring a darker shade into your inner corner, it'll bring down your eyes and just look a little droopier or kind of close your eyes off a little bit. So we want to bring that shade outwards, not inwards. Now, let's take a darker shade. So let's take this one. So we're going to take just this light darker one tap the excess and then we're gonna go outwards in like a V motion so and you can this can be done with all all with one brush so you're gonna take it you're gonna go out and then you're gonna make a V under your eyebrow so you're gonna take it following that same guide and V out onto your lash line outer corner of your eye Bring that up, following that same line. You should be left with something like this. Don't be afraid to blend, because again, like I mentioned on the base, it is easier to put more on than it is to take off. So going in with that color again, this darker shape, tap off the excess, we're going to take it in that V shape once again. If you're doing this with one brush, don't be afraid to really work it in there because different brushes will work for different things, but being able to just make an eyeshadow look from one brush is very helpful, especially when we aren't sure what we're doing with eyeshadow yet. So see how it's muddy just right on the outside? I'm just going to take it, I'm gonna tap off the excess, the excess product, and I'm gonna swirl around on a, just a washcloth, try and get all that product off. I'm gonna go back in and I'm gonna keep blending. See if I can lower down the tone of this a little bit. I'm going in sweeping motions the same way that I did in the other eye, just in that V shape, bringing the eyeshadow up and out, and then up under my eyebrow. So now that these are all blended out, we have that little V in the outer corners. This is our completed eyeshadow look. You could do this with any three colors, making sure you have the lightest on the bottom, as your base having that middle color as like a transition color something you can go back into to where you can so let's say I brought this dark color out in too far so we're gonna go back into that medium color tap off the excess and we're just gonna blend it back to where we want it to be blend it blend it blend it with those sweeping motions and then same thing on the other eye just making sure that we have it as making sure we have it as even as possible but of course makeup will never be twins it will always be sisters so don't go too hard on yourself if you don't get it the first time or you're still learning and trying to figure out how to match your two eyes it's okay makeup is a process and makeup is a skill on a talent trust so now that we have these done, we have our base, we have our eyeshadow, we have our brows. Now, we're going to move into lashes. I like to do my lashes before I set anything else on my face. I like the Ardell Wispies because it gives you that cat eye look, but of course, experiment with what kind of lashes you like and what look best on your eyelid. These are my personal favorite because it does bring the end of my eyes outwards um, for my almond hooded eyes. So, you're just going to take your lash and then any kind of lash glue. I like the duo lash glue and with the brush. So, I take a pair of tweezers and I put it right in the middle of the lashes. And so with my wispies, this side is shorter than this side, so I know that this will go into my inner corner, so it'll be on this side. I will take my lash glue and 
very, very little. I'll take, put it on the very end, and then I'll brush the rest right in the middle. A very important step to lashes and ma is making sure the glue gets tacky. Because if the glue isn't tacky and it's still wet, it's going to move all over the place and it's not gonna stick where you want it to stay. So, take these. My eyelashes go straight out, so I take a lash curler and then I will just gently curl my lashes, making sure that they're clean and they don't have any mascara on them from previously because the mascara can stick onto your lash curlers and potentially damage your lashes and we don't want that so now you can see I have a little bit of a guide with my lashes so I'm going to take it it's going to be very hard to see but you're going to take it and you're going to put the middle right into the middle of your eye if the lash is too long trimming off each of those little bundles so just one single bundle on the end until you get the perfect length or width that matches your eye. So I'm gonna take it, I'm going to look down into the mirror and then I'm just going to place it right in the middle of my eyeball. So then I'm gonna take the outer corner and match it to the outer corner of my eye and then same thing with the inner corner. Taking the inner corner and then just pressing it gently into the inner corner of my eye. I'll take it and I'll just press gently so I make sure the whole lash band is against my lash line. This will also take some practice being able to look down into the mirror and getting it perfectly placed. So don't let me fool you because I've been doing lashes for quite a bit. And then I'm just pushing the bottom base to make sure everything is stuck perfectly onto my lash lid. Onto my eyelid on my lash line. Awesome, now you have your lashes on. You can leave it like this if you're like, okay, that was enough adventuring for today. I did, I accomplished so much. I did my eyeshadow, I did my lashes. I look fantastic. So, you can leave it there or you can take a very small brush. You can use just a very small fluffy brush. It's a very small fluffy brush, something like this and we're gonna go into our eyeshadow palette, again, that we've used, and we're going to take that middle shade, and we're just gonna put eyeshadow underneath our eyes. So we're gonna look into, an, into a mirror, and we're gonna put that middle shade right in the middle center of our under eye, bring it out just a little bit, and then take it again, do it on the other eye, focusing on that middle where we originally put it on the top of our lid. And then drag it out a little bit. And then taking our darker shade, we're just gonna focus on the out, outer corner. So we're gonna take it, drag it, and we're gonna try and connect it a little bit with our other eyeshadow. So under eye to our eyeshadow. Under eye to our eyeshadow. And we're gonna take it again on the other arm under eye to your eyeshadow. Just blending it into your look. You can take any color in your waterline if you're comfortable with that. I'm going to leave it as is and I'm going to take my mascara and set my lashes into place. So I'm going to take my mascara. I like the MAC mascara because it has a silicone wand and really gets into my lashes. So I'll take it just on the base of my lashes, mostly on my natural lashes. This isn't something you wanna bring all the way through your false lashes, as if they are harder to clean, and they can get clumpy if you bring it all the way through. So just focusing on your natural lashes to really blend it from your lashes to the false lashes. So this is our look so far. 
And now, I'm going to take just a lip pencil. This is ColourPop in the shade BFF. So just a nude lip liner. And I will just take it all over my lips. So I will follow the natural line of my lips. And then just, like a coloring book, just color it all in. And then I like to take a gloss. This is Glosstopia. I just got this from Walmart. It's just a clear gloss. I'm gonna put it right over top. To complete my lips. And then last, but certainly, certainly not least, I'm going to take a fluffy, fluffy brush and my favorite highlighter by Floss in the shade Sunlit. And then I will just take my brush and I'll just wipe it across. And then I'm going to take it on the very, very high points of my cheeks on both sides. A little goes a long way with highlighter. Go back in, the very tip of my nose and then the bridge of my nose to make a little exclamation point. And then... You can leave it there if you want, but I like to get extra. Take a very, very small, detailed brush. Swirl it in your highlighter. You can do your inner corners. And highlight under your brows. To accentuate your brow bone. And you're all done. Last, last, last step when you are all done is to go in with your favorite setting spray kind of any setting spray kind of anything to just make sure it's all set in I like the max Mac fix plus setting spray I guess it's like a prime prep and prime but I use it like at the end or elf has a really amazing one that I do not have that I believe is about ten to fifteen dollars at any Target or Walmart or Ulta and then just spray your face to lock in all of our hard work. Now you can either let it dry or you can take your little powder puff and press it in to your face to really make sure all of your makeup stays and you press in that setting, setting spray. Spray gently down your neck, right here. And we're all done. This is a full face of beginner friendly products and techniques to get you started in either starting with makeup, going into eyeshadows, foundation, or kind of anything like that. If you guys have any questions at all, I'd love to answer them in the comments. Or if you guys like would like to see another video of getting a little bit more into kind of the crazy vivids or anything you guys want, let me know and I'd love to make a video on it. But I hope you guys enjoyed. Don't forget to follow me on all of my socials, all Rilo underscore LaFay. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye. A brush or a sponge to. Hello. Hi. Hey, I need to make a <laughs> This isn't something that you want to bring all the way through your 